It's almost election day. How many registered voters are out there? <laughs> But not all Americans will be heading to the polls. Historically, only about four in 10 voters turn out for midterm elections. Here are three reasons why. First, you might just not care. Either you feel your vote won't matter, or you're not a fan of politics in general. And as a result, you stay home. I do not plan on voting. Why not? I don't really get into politics. This is Anna Hayden. She's a college student in West Virginia, a state that consistently has one of the lowest voter turnout rates. I feel like my one vote isn't actually going to make a difference. And voting or not voting is something that tends to be passed on from generation to generation. This leads us to reason number two. You don't care about politics, and the politicians, in turn, don't care about you. We know that when institutions, or elector, electoral organizations, when they try to mobilize people, turnout is higher, and different kinds of people vote. So if you don't live in a competitive district, or you don't belong to a group they care about, you might just be in a group they've given up on, which means they might not even try to reach out and win you over. And this brings us to our third and final reason. Maybe you do care, and maybe politicians care about you back, but your state's election laws make it really hard to cast a ballot. In the name of preventing voter fraud, many states have made it difficult to register, limited polling times, and taken names off the list of registered voters without telling people they've been removed. There will be some who don't vote because they don't like the choice on offer. But don't blame low voter turnout purely on those who can't be bothered. Yeah.